In this video, I am going to go over the maximum distance that you can install a plumbing pipe. And we're going to go with an inch and a half, a two inch, and a three inch pipe. However, keep in mind that you might not be able to install a three inch pipe in a two by 10 joist. And that should become clear after you are done watching this video. So let's go ahead and start with one of the popular building code books and what it says about drilling holes through joist and since the rim joist won't matter you can drill a lot of holes through the rim joist however you might not be able to drill as many holes through the floor joist that are not going to be supported in the same way the rim joist will be supported because it's sitting on top of a wall so first up let's take a look at the two inch minimum distance from the top and the bottom you are not allowed to drill in this area for any floor joist whether they're going to be 2 by 6 or 2 by 14 and then you are not allowed to drill a maximum distance of more than one third the width of the joist so for example in our video here we are using 2 by 12 that are going to be 11 and a half inches tall creating a maximum distance of 3.83 inches and the reason why I drew a square in here along with a circle is to prevent future questions on whether or not you can use a square or a circle. Now I know you can use a circle because the building code book shows a circle with a round pipe running through it. However, I do not know if you are allowed to use a square with the same dimensions and you would need to check with your local building department to verify that information. And for the next question you might be asking that would be how many holes can you drill in in a floor joist and if it was me if I was going to drill more than one hole in a structural floor joist I would check with an engineer and also keep in mind that lumber imperfections like knots and cracks can also create problems for any holes that you drill in the floor joist and the last thing I would like to point out about this is that these holes can be drilled anywhere within the distance inside the space two inches away from the top and the bottom. Next up, let's go ahead and install a one and a half inch diameter pipe. That is going to be the inside diameter. The outside diameter is going to be about 1.9 inches. And some building codes will require a minimum distance of 1 16th of an inch. Or for example, the inch and a half pipe used might require a two or a two and an eighth inch drill bit. So keep that in mind also when you are going to be working on a project like this. And most inch and a half pipes need to slope at least a quarter of an inch per foot. So here we're starting about three eighths of an inch away from our two inches. Just to be safe, once you start getting close to that two inches, and your drill bit is off just a little bit, you could be in trouble. So here we go, we're starting here, and when we get to the end, we're just going to be a little bit below the top. And of course, it is far enough away to allow us to install a pipe like this. However, there will be a maximum distance that you can go with each sized joist. And I will provide you with a simple math formula that you can use to figure out the maximum distance for a variety of different sized pipes. And the distance that I have here is about 20 feet from here to here. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a two and a three inch pipe. And again, these will be spaced about three eighths of an inch above our two inches or two and three eighths of an inch away from the bottom of the floor joist. So here we can see where we could come down about three eighths of an inch for our three inch pipe. And this could help us when we get to the end here, because you can clearly see that the three inch pipe is now into the two inch zone. However, the two inch pipe is not and it's looking good. And I would imagine that if you were a plumber, you would lower it a little bit at the other end and then lower it at this end to where you might not have a quarter of an inch per slope if you were in a situation like this. However, I'm just throwing that out there, not saying that you can do it. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the simple math formula. 
So in example one, I am going to use the existing floor joist, which is going to be a two by 12, along with a inch and a half inside diameter plumbing pipe. That's probably going to have an outside diameter of 1.9 inches. So let's go ahead and start with the width of the joist, 11.5 inches, and then we're going to subtract four inches. This four inches represents the two inches on the top and the bottom, leaving us an inside space of seven and a half inches. Next up, let's go ahead and subtract the outside diameter plus the 16th of an inch. And I just rounded this off to two inches. And if we subtract two inches from 7.5 inches, we're going to have 5.5 inches. And since I know that the slope of our pipe needs to be a quarter of an inch, then all we would need to do is divide 0.25 into 5.5 inches to figure out that 22 feet will be the maximum length that we would be able to install a one and a half inch pipe in two by 12 floor joist. In our next example, we will use two by 10 floor joists that are going to be 9.5 or nine and a half inches. And if we subtract our four inches, we're going to have 5.5 inches for the distance in between that we can drill through along with our two inches for the pipe, leaving us with three and a half inches, a three and a half inch distance. For example, you might have an inch and a half away Away from the bottom safe area and two inches away from the top of the pipe to the top of the safe area. And I hope that didn't confuse some of you. And as far as 2x10 floor joists go, there's a good chance you're not going to be able to install a 3.5 or a 3.6 inch diameter pipe. And I would imagine that you could run into the same problem if you're trying to put a 2 inch pipe into a two by six joist. So again, it's not just the distance here that we're looking for to provide us with a quarter of an inch per foot slope. It will also be whether or not we can drill a hole in the joist, something that's going to be smaller than the maximum allowable diameter. So let's get back to example number two. If we have 3.5 inches left over, we divide 0.25 into 3.5 for a one and a half inch inside diameter pipe we will have a maximum distance of 14 feet in a floor framed with two by ten joist and hopefully that makes sense if it does not feel free to leave any questions you have in the video comment area along with any comments suggesting how awesome this video is and as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video or learned something something from it.